This is your one and only Fire Spark 81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are going to cover everything you need to know about horses in V Rising. Let's get to it. So let's start with where to find horses. First off, we're taking a look here at the map and you can see this line here and up is where you can start to find horses. Everything down below this line in this newbie area, I have yet to find any horses. I've been all over this area, as you can see from the map being uncovered. But as you can see here on the map, there are a few locations where I have mounted a horse and I have left it indicating you can find horses in and around this area. So this location where I am at now is one of the easiest places that I have found to get a hold of a horse and you should be able to make it up here really early game. I would recommend having the wolf form just to make traveling up here a little bit easier, but you should be able to bypass most enemies and make it up here right from the get go and get a horse if you want one from the start of the game. So we're at a little farm up here and there's really nothing to mess with you here at this farm. There's just some cows and a few people. There is a patrol, but you can bypass that patrol relatively easily. So basically you're just going to come in through, we're following the path right up here and you would come in through this back side here and this is just to avoid everything destroy the wall and then we are going to just make our way right over to here and you can see the horses are right here in the barn now there are these peasants here peasants won't mess with you you really don't have to worry about them they're just going to run from you no matter what level you are as soon as they see you because you're a big scary vampire and then what you want to do in order to claim a horse, all you have to do is hold down F to mount it. And now that is for all intents and purposes, your horse. So now what you want to do is quickly get out of this area because the patrol that walks up and down here, walks up and down this path. And then you are just going to go out the way you came. There is also a patrol that walks up and down this path here. Once you are on the back of your horse, you will notice that your horse controls differently than you do. So your character will move in whichever direction you are moving. So if you're holding S, you move down w up uh, a left and d right that's the way you move your horse does not move that way however if you mount your horse and you go to hit d your horse is just going to spin in a circle a it's going to spin in a, a circle the opposite direction and s it's going to back up and w it's going to move forward it's a little wonky at first and takes a little bit of getting used to but it's not too too terrible once you start to get used to it but there is an easier way to control your horse what you want to do is you want to go into your options and go to controls and right here where it says Auto run. That's default bound to mouse button four. Most of you probably do not have a mouse button four, so you just want to rebind that. I chose V because it's easy to hit with my hand on the W, A, S, and D keys. I can just easily tap V, and that will put you into auto run mode. Once you are in auto run mode, you can control the direction of your horse by controlling your camera. So here, all I'm doing is holding down the right mouse button and moving, spinning my camera around, and you can see my horse goes in whichever direction I am moving the camera. This makes it way, way, way easier to control your horse because it locks your movement to the camera. As you can see down here at the bottom, our icons swap out from our vampire powers to dismount is Q, so that will cause you to get off of your horse. And then spacebar will cause your horse to move at a quicker speed, which is the gallop ability. If you just move forward normally, you go in a nice steady pace, nothing too fast. However, if you hit spacebar, you will move into a full gallop, allowing you to move at the horse's max speed. Once you have mounted your horse and that horse is now basically yours, once you jump off of it, it will stay wherever you leave it, unless something hits it, in which case it will run off to try to keep from getting killed. If you are standing next to your horse or if you are mounted on your horse, you can hit tab to bring up your menu. And you can see here, we have a new window that is our horse. We can rename our horse to whatever we want to name it. You can either use the randomize key here to give it a name, or you can type in whatever name you want, hit confirm, and now that horse has a specific name. You can also see that this horse has its own independent stats. So it has a max speed, an acceleration, and a rotation speed. You will also see that we have a time Timer here that is counting down. This is how long until our horse dies. So once you jump on the back of your horse, that horse's timer starts to kick down immediately as soon as you mount it for the first time. By default, we have about seven-ish hours here. You can see we're at six hours, 50 minutes. I've been messing around on it a little bit here. So it should be somewhere in the realm of about seven hours from the first time that you mount it. We can increase this by putting water skins in the horse's inventory. If we come over here to this horse, you can see this horse has nine hours. If I remove the water skin, 
it's got two hours if I, or water filled canteen, sorry. If I put the water filled canteen back in there, you can see it jumps up to nine hours. You can also see that this horse has different stats than the other one. This one has a max move speed of 10.7, acceleration of 3.5, and a rotation speed of 12.3. If this timer runs out, your horse will die. And it dies the same as if you were to kill it. It will actually drop resources on the ground for you to collect. Note that once you have tamed your horse, you can't damage your horse. Other things can attack and damage your horse, and like I said before, your horse will run, but you cannot damage your horse once you have tamed it. If you take any kind of damage at all, you will get knocked off your horse. And I can demonstrate that here by getting hit by one of these. There you go. You can see we got knocked off our horse and our horse ran and tried to take cover so that it does not die. Your horse will regen HP relatively quickly. As you can see there, it's already regened pretty much all of the damage that it took from being attacked by those wolves. So if it takes a bunch of damage, don't worry, you don't need to do anything. Just don't let it take damage for a little bit of time and it will heal back to full health. As long as you do not have any items in your inventory per the usual, your horse can have the canteens in its inventory because canteens are considered a consumable so they can teleport. You can teleport with your horse. So here I am, as you can see, we are on horseback and if we teleport and we teleport to our other castle, you can see we teleported to our other castle absolutely fine and we teleported with our horse. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at some of these other locations in which you can find some horses. So if you are starting on this side of the map over here, as opposed to this side, your closest location to get a horse is going to be right here. So there's the horse that I jumped on before in order to mark this location. That one is already owned by me. And you can see when you are not on your horse, most things don't bother to attack it. If you are on your horse and you get knocked off and you are behind the horse or something like that, they will continue to attack at the horse, but nothing that I've seen so far specifically targets your horse on purpose. This location here is actually close to a way gate and if you are running up through this way here, you want to be careful. You should be able to run up this path. There is a patrol that walks this path, but they're kind of up in this way here. You should be able to walk down this path and come around in. I'm disguised as a human right now, so they're not going to notice me, but I'll undisguise here in a second. So you should be able to come around this way, walk in behind here. And if we undisguise, you can see here, nobody still sees me. And if I wait until the patrol that was over here starts to walk back over that way, I can come over here and just jump on another horse and ride off with it without actually fighting anybody. So you should be able to do that relatively early on. There's the other patrol I was talking about. You can see they just kind of do a loop around this way. If we run down here, those guys there patrol back and forth from the gate here. So you just want to be careful and watch their patrol and be sneaky and run past and around back behind that way when they are back in the camp and you should be fine. And then you can steal your horse and ride back out relatively unscathed. Now it is possible to get a horse over in this area here. There is one that can spawn right in here and you can actually make your way around and jump on it and then jump off this cliff and ride back out. Um, I have it parked right here. And then further up this way, you can find other horses around in here. However, I do not recommend messing around with this area and trying to get horses here. This is a high end area. There's garlic about, there's tons of things that are gonna see you even in human form. And this is just a very dangerous mid to late game area and I wouldn't really mess with it. If you want a horse, go get one from either one of these locations here, here, even up in here. This is all farmland and there's horses all over and it's relatively easy to move around in here and just dodge things and run past things and get a horse and get out. I've showed you two locations where it's super easy to get horses really early game here and here. You just make your way up there, grab them and ride back out into the newbie area and then you can have a horse early on in the game. And lastly, I wanna mention that anybody can jump on your horse and ride off with it. They're in no way bound to you even if they are your horse. I've tested this thoroughly on the server and I was able to just jump on someone else's horse and I could ride off with it if I had wanted to and then that would have been my horse to look after and take care of. So don't leave your horses out and about where somebody can jump on them and steal them. Make sure that they are inside your base, behind closed walls, protected so that people can't get on them and ride off with them. We're on PVE, so there may be something on PVP that prevents you from getting on someone else's horse, but I doubt it, but I don't know. Don't play PVP, so have no idea. But on PVE, you can definitely steal someone else's horse.
All right, and I think that pretty much covers anything and everything you could possibly want to know about horses in V Rising. If you got anything else to add or comment about, let me know down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and informational, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I put out other videos. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Elite Core Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.